What's up guys, it's BST or Bonus Sports Talk back with you guys again <clears throat> and bringing you another video in today's video I'm going to be uh, going over what I think the Steelers record will be and so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to just go down the schedule game by game give you a brief rundown of what I think is going to happen and by the end of the video uh, there'll be a, a final record and you'll see, just watch the video so basically this uh, video uh, idea comes in recommended by a user on YouTube named you know who it is um, obviously you know who it is uh, if you're watching this um, uh, my personal message to you is sorry for not getting to this um, as soon as possible I've been really busy lately as I said in my last video so I'm gonna try and get videos um, out a little bit sooner uh, right now just to make up for that and um, this is gonna be one of those videos so without a doubt let's get right into it so uh, Week one against the Redskins at Redskins, I believe, is going to be a loss. Now, the reason why I think that the Redskins are going to actually be able to squeak out a win against the Steelers here is not only because of no Bell and no Bryant. Um, I feel like the Redskins' defense is tightening up, uh, tightening up a little bit with uh, the addition of Josh Norman here. So I feel like the Steelers' defense. Um, Handling the Redskins offense is not going to be too much of an issue for the Steelers. I mean, I, I still do feel like the Redskins may or may not light up the Steelers defense a little bit because the Steelers defense isn't what it used to be um, like it was three, four years ago. But I just feel like the Redskins defense itself is going to what's really is what is what going to really be stopping uh, the Steelers from getting this win without Bell, without Bryant, and with the addition of Josh Norman. Like I said, uh, Antonio Brown is going to be covered all game. And um, it might be a little tricky for them. And just because of this, uh, overall, I think they're going to actually be able to uh, overtake the Steelers. And they're going to be giving them the L here. Now, moving on to week two, they are going to be playing the Bengals. Now, even though they are playing at the Bang even though they are playing the Bengals at home, and the Steelers, generally speaking, do have success against the Bengals, I do feel like this is going to be another L uh, for similar reasons to the Redskins. Now, like I said before, no Bell, no Bryant doesn't help them, and the Bengals defense is okay and it's not bad. And quite frankly, without those two guys there, the Bengals defense is definitely going to take over this game. And um, I feel like the Bengals. Um, Offense is definitely going to be able to take advantage of the Steelers defense. So for the same reasons as the Redskins, uh, this is going to be another L for the Steelers. Now week three, they're going to be going to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. And this is pretty obvious. This is going to be W. The Steelers offense is going to take advantage of the Steelers defense because the Steelers defense, I just feel like even though they have good players here and there, I just feel like they're not really as coordinated even though they have good players. Um, the offense is probably going to be able to take apart this defense pretty easily. The defense is this Eagles defense is not that good. Um, the Eagles the Eagles offense is not that good either. I don't think Carson Wentz is going to be that good. And quite frankly, they don't really have any weapons. And I think the Steelers are going to be able to cover this team. Uh, probably going to be on the more low scoring side uh, as a game overall. But definitely, Steelers are going to take the W here. Uh, week four, uh, the, uh, the Chiefs are coming into Pittsburgh to play them, and this is definitely going to be an L. Um, pretty sure you saw, pretty sure you guys saw this coming. Uh, the Chiefs are definitely going to be an extremely good team this year, one of the best in the entire league, and um, I just feel like the Chiefs' uh, defense is just too strong. Uh, not even their offense, not even the Chiefs' offense is really what's going to do them. And the Chiefs' defense is going to just really light up the Bengals' uh, uh, offense. There's definitely going to be a pick six in this game, honestly. Um, I don't think it's going to really be close. Chiefs, uh, Chiefs definitely win this game. Now, week five, this one's a little bit tricky for me to decide. It's it's really debatable just because there's so many variables here. Now, with the breaking news of Fitzpatrick coming in, I actually had to go back and change this uh, video because I actually had the Steelers winning this game. But with Fitzpatrick coming back, that changes the whole thing. And so now we got to imagine last year's Jets now uh, basically playing a Steelers team without Bryant. And um, so you just got to factor in, you know, now that now the Jets got Matt Forte. And even though the Jets, I don't think are going to be a killer team, I still think they're going to actually be able to beat the Steelers here. They're, Bell's going to have to start getting back used to his old type playing against the actual NFL teams instead of just practicing, trying to recover, or just doing whatever because he's suspended. And just generally, I don't think this team is going to be able to beat the Jets. Now, the Jets were not a bad team last year. Keep in mind, the Jets were 10-6. and six. They were essentially a playoff team. Should have been 11-5 and five if they didn't choke against the Bills. So, I mean, I, honestly, I think that the Jets are going to win here. And also, the Jets' defense has been always pretty good. So, they have that as well. So, unfortunately, they are going to lose here. 
Now week six, um, they're going to be playing Miami against the Dolphins. Once again, this is pretty easy. This is definitely going to be a W for Pittsburgh. Dolphins are not really that good of a team overall. The running back trade they did with the Texans, essentially what ended up happening um, is they ended up basically switching halfbacks. It was definitely an L for the Dolphins. Lamar Miller was definitely a better running back in those two exchanges. So honestly, uh, there it goes. Their rushing game out the window. Dolphins defense is all right, but their offense is not really that good. All they really have is Jarvis Landry, and it's not going to be really, really that good for the Dolphins, but the Steelers uh, defense is going to have a field day uh, covering these guys. So definitely a win for the Steelers. Um, week seven. So this one, I believe it or not, was actually pretty difficult. I don't know why, but for some reason, I kept thinking that the Steelers would actually be able to win this game, but it's clear that they won't be able to win Week 7 without, but they don't even have the wide receiver too, and even with the Patriots coming into town, the Patriots are, you know, one of the best teams in the NFL, if not the best team in the NFL uh, in the 20th, at least right now, in my opinion, and quite frankly, this is just going to be an L for them overall. Patriots beat them like crazy in offense, and Patriots defense is better. It's just not much to explain here. This is definitely going to be a loss for the Steelers, unfortunately. Now week eight, we have the bye, and going into week nine, we are playing the Ravens. Or sorry, the Steelers are playing the Ravens. <laughs> not we. I'm not a Steelers fan. No way. Uh, week nine, the Steelers are playing the Ravens at Baltimore. Now, even though they're playing at, even though they're playing the Ravens at their home, um, I feel like the Ravens. Uh, you'll, you'll, if you saw my NFL season prediction, uh, you'll know that I still, even though a lot of uh, NFL analysts still think that the Ravens will be able to come back and. Go over 500. I don't think they're gonna be able to go over 500. Just all the injuries to every position on their offense: quarterback, tight end, running back. It's just too. There's too much injuries all over the place. And um, oh, wide receiver. Sorry, I forgot about uh, Steve Smith Senior. Steve Smith Senior. But um, going back to what I was saying before, just all the injuries overall to their offense. I feel like even though they're gonna be able to become healthy again and recover, I just feel like these injuries are gonna be lurking with them. And unfortunately, I think this is gonna to come to bite them in the ass. And because of this, the Steelers are definitely gonna win. And this is gonna be more of a defensive win. The Ravens defense is not too bad. They are on the older side, but definitely not that bad at all. Uh, but definitely Steelers uh, defense will be able to take advantage of this offense and pull out the W. Week 10, you got the Cowboys coming into town. Um, I do think the Cowboys will be a good team and will in fact win the division, make the playoffs. However, I don't think the Cowboys defense is that great. now. The Steelers' offense, in my opinion, has usually been focused around the or, sorry, focused around the passing game more than running game. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, if you think about it, the Steelers' offense has always been one of the best in the NFL for at least the past five years. But just generally speaking, their um, passing game has been more of their focus, even though they do have Bell. And the Cowboys' pass rush is not very good, and the Cowboys' corners are not really that good either. And so I believe that even though Bryant is out with Antonio Brown healthy and Darius Hayward Bay, they're going to have no problem winning. And the Cowboys offense is going to be a little bit of a problem because I do believe the Cowboys offense is going to be what really carries them. And so they got to watch out for Ezekiel Elliott, Jason Witten, Des Bryant, Tony Romo, if those guys stay healthy. This game is going to be a tough, tough win for the Steelers. They're going to probably have to grind it out. If I had to predict a high scoring game for the Steelers this season, Cowboys game is definitely going to be one of them. Week 11, the year going into Cleveland to play the Browns. I'm not even going to, there's not really much to go about here. The Browns, I mean, I could try and explain. I guess the Browns have a pretty okay defense. I mean, the Browns definitely are improving the defensive aspect of the game. But overall, this team doesn't really have a flow, no really good chemistry anywhere, honestly. So, I mean, there's not really much explaining to do. I, there's a lot of teams that are going to be able to beat the Browns. There's the chance the Browns actually make a 1-15 in 15 or 1-16 in 16 after I check their schedule. So, there's not really much explaining to do. Um, the Steelers are definitely going to beat them. Week 12, um, there's a lot of people that may believe that the Colts are going to do good this season. I'm definitely not one of those people. I think the Colts are definitely not going to be doing crazy good or make the playoffs or anything like that. I believe that Andrew Luck is a overrated bust. I do not think he's as good as he as people believe he is. His touchdown to interception ratio is not good whatsoever. His receivers are getting on the old side. Even though Frank Gore put up good numbers, he is also getting on the old side. The defense is okay. You know, you still got those older players. You know, the corners are old. Old. Um, the, the main, their main like signature corner. His name slipping my mind, but he, you know, he is old um, as well. So I believe that the Steelers will be able, definitely be able to take out the W here, um, even though they're going into Indianapolis. Um, simply because the, I believe the Steelers' offense is really what's going to be able to uh, do the Colts in. Um, 
So yeah, let's move on to week 13. So week 13, we go playing the Giants. Oh, I, I don't know why I keep saying we. Sorry, the Steelers are going to be playing the Giants at home. That's a perfectly easy win for the Steelers. The Giants, I think, are going to be an okay team. Probably go 500, slightly below 500, um, but definitely going to be a win. Uh, the thing about this is that the Giants' defense um, is really what's going to be helping the Steelers get the W here. Even though they did get Eli Apple, which may or may not be good for the Steelers. And I think DRC might be coming back. or I'm not sure what's happening with DRC and the Giants, to be honest. Um, but if he is with, if he is going to be playing against the Steelers that game, um, definitely going to be a little bit of an issue of him and Eli Apple. However, I do think that Ben Roethlisberger and How uh, Hayward Bay and Brown will be able to, to over to overcome these guys and definitely get in the end zone. Um, I think this is not going to be a problem. This might be another shootout game, just similar to the Cowboys, where it's going to be a little bit of high scoring because the Giants' offense is very good as well. I believe top top 10 offense in the NFL. So this is definitely going to be also another difficult victory for the Steelers, but I do think that they will win this game. Now going into week 14, as you can see here, the Steelers are running a, what is it here? One, two, three, running a six game winning streak uh, with the inclusion of this week 14 win against the Bills. Um, I'm sorry Bills fans, I know that you probably have high expectations for your team this year with the good defense and everything going good for your offense as well. But I do think that the Steelers will win this game even though they are visiting Buffalo. It doesn't really mean much because let's be honest, Bills fans, I mean it's week 14, December 11th, no one's going to be at that game. It's like might as well have a woman advantage somewhere up in Canada. But um, yeah, I just feel like the Steelers are going to be able to take advantage, even though they're not as used to the cold weather, and which usually helps the Bills uh, seasoned players. I still think that the uh, Steelers will definitely win. Um, the Bills defense usually slips up towards the end of the season, as they did last year. They definitely slipped up. Um, and their offense is usually not bad. Uh, I feel like the Steelers defense must improve uh, on the rushing defense. Uh, with Carlos Williams and LaShawn McCoy, it's going to be a pain in the ass for them. But I do think that they will be able to take the W away just because the Steelers are overall a better team. And um, at this point, I just want to note, at this point, I didn't say, but around probably week 10, week 11, I feel like this team is starting to adapt to having uh, their third string wide receiver in instead of Bryant. So I feel like at this point, now they're getting more used to it uh, and Ben Roethlisberger is getting more chemistry. So I thought I'd just throw it out at this point. Week 15, they're going to Cincinnati to play Bengals. I feel like this is going to be an L. Their winning streak is over at 6 here. Um, even though they have the majority of the players back, or as many as they can uh, get back uh, for the Steelers, um, they are playing the Bengals in Cincinnati. And I just because I don't think the Bengals are going to win the division, that doesn't change the fact that I still believe they're going to be a good team. Um, the thing about... that, It's kind of difficult to explain here, because it's... Somehow, I miraculously, somehow the Steelers always seem to be able to beat the Bengals in like the craziest ways possible. But I do think that the Bengals will actually win this one game. Um, even though I don't think the Bengals may necessarily do as good as the Steelers in the regular season, it, it really depends. Um, just want to actually, now that I think of it now, um, just want to note this. When I made my NFL season predictions video um, and I had the Steelers winning the division, that was simply because. Well, actually, not simply because when we're talking about that was only because um, at the time Bryant wasn't suspended and Bell wasn't suspended. If you see those first uh, four weeks where those two players are gone, um, they're only winning one out of the four games, and that would definitely be different uh, if Bell and Bryant were still there. So I just want to throw that out there. I definitely would uh, think they're going to be better than this uh, schedule shows if those guys were not suspended. So I just want to throw that out there. But anyways, um, I think the Bengals are going to beat them. Bengals offense is overall on the same level as the Steelers actually, um, even without um, Bryant, but the defense uh, is really key here. Like I said before, the Bengals defense is way better than the Steelers defense, and because of this, I think that um, Ben Roethlisberger may slip up, throw a few picks here, uh, a few picks here and there, and because of this, the Bengals will take the L. Or sorry, the Bengals will take the W, the Steelers will take the L. Going out to week 16, they're playing the Ravens again. Once again, for the same reasons as week 9, I think they're going to win. Too many injuries to their offense. I still, like even, I still feel like even at this point, they will not have fully recovered. Also feel like this far into the season, um, the Ravens players will definitely have been injured. At least one of their one or two of their offensive players will definitely have been injured at this point in the season. Um, maybe defensively, not necessarily as much injuries, but still, I feel like the Steelers are going to win this game for the exact same reasons I said week 9. In week 17 for the last week of their schedule, and I do believe they're going to make the playoffs, 
Um, they're playing the Browns, once again, an easy W. Same thing as week 11, you don't really need to explain this. They're playing the Browns at home, there's no way they're gonna lose this game. Let's be honest guys, the Browns are a terrible franchise, uh, at least at this point in time, and they're not gonna win overall, the Steelers are better, and like I said before, the Browns is not really good in any field. Maybe they're secondary, their the O-line is pretty good, I don't know. But um, yeah, that sums up everything. Uh, there's so, just to recap, uh, I do think that the Steelers will go 10-6, and 6, whether they lead the division or not. It's it's going to be close, um, especially later in the season when they play the Bengals and the Ravens and the Browns, um, three of their divisional rivals. It's going to get a little tricky here, especially the, the run between the Bengals and the Steelers is going to be what's close here. I don't feel like the Ravens and the Browns are going to really be contenders for the first place um, in this division. Maybe wild card for the Ravens, but overall I think that it's going to just really be between the Steelers and the Bengals. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and I do feel like the Bengals and Steelers... It's gonna be actually it's gonna be really close. I can't really tell, but I honestly think the Steelers may be able to edge out these Bengals, just because the Bengals schedule is a little bit more difficult. But yeah, so I think the Steelers will go ten and six. Um, they're probably gonna have a really rocky start, as you can see here from week one to week seven. They're gonna only win two out of those seven games, so they're gonna go two and five, which is obviously not a great start. But you saw teams like Kansas City last year; they were stable to even after a bad start, go crazy toward the end of the season, get a ton of Ws, which I believe is what's gonna happen to the Steelers, as you can see here. For for, uh, weeks 9 through 17, I see them only losing one game and winning all the rest of those games. Um, now, whether those wins are easy or hard, it's going to really be up for debate, especially with those Cowboys and the Giants and um, the... Oh, sorry, what was I... Which one was I talking about? Uh, I guess just the Cowboys and Giants. Um, those two teams are going to be a pain in the ass for them to take out, because mainly because of their offenses. So I feel like once this defense gets worn down, because this defense is not done. This defense, you got some old players on there. So you really got to make sure to keep them in check, keep them full and healthy, because this defense can easily be taken uh, taken advantage of if they're uh, not fully healthy. So um, they got to really make sure uh, that they're that they're in the right spot for those two games. Um, but overall, I do think that the Steelers will make the playoffs, whether it be leading the division or wild card. But um, well, how far they go in the playoffs is up for debate. But yeah, overall, not doing uh, that bad. And I do think that they'll make the playoffs and they'll have a pretty good time. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Once again, thank you to You Know Who It Is, uh, username You Know Who It Is on YouTube for suggesting this theme. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions, please leave them down in the description. From this point on now if you leave any suggestions i will promise to get to them this time i know i said that in the past and i just didn't because i forgot about youtube and i had other important things to intend to um because i do play football myself and um so we did have a lot of uh workouts and crossfits and whatnot but um no more excuses i'm going to try and focus more on this youtube channel get more stuff out so um just please subscribe and just stay tuned to see if any videos that come out um, so thanks for watching. Uh, this is gonna always wrap it up here. Um, I hope I see you guys in another video soon and enjoy my content. I uh, do some more stuff on my channel, I guess, if you like predictions and stuff. That's why I really like to focus around this predictions. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I might do a few lists here and there, like best NHL teams of all time, best NFL, NHL, I don't know, it's just something like that, best players, whatever, best two-way forwards is what I've been thinking about. But um, yeah, I, something along those lines but yeah just stay tuned um and i'll see you later